from Jason Momoa's 1929 Rolls Royce Phantom. Let's try it. To Robert Downey Jr.'s latest show. <laughs> These expensive vintage cars owned by celebrities are not just for show, they're electric. Lately, car enthusiasts worldwide have been turning their beloved classics into electric rides that are eco-friendlier. And one Dubai startup named Fuse wants to jump in on that action. The ethos of the company was to bring something new, something that we'd seen in, in happening in the US and the UK, to adapt it to the local markets. The company starts by scanning the vehicle and engineer an electric kit for each car. Then they swap out the internal combustion with it. Finally, the fun part begins, taking it for a spin. Go, 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 go. A classic car can cost anything from about $40,000 and up, um, usually to a maximum of about $110,000, $120,000, which is fully spec'd up with 300 to 400 horsepower motors. It's not cheap, but the company wants to make it affordable for emerging markets. You just need the, a nice connector for it. Like this durable 1998 Toyota Helix pickup truck, an icon in the deserts of the Middle East and Africa. To scale this up, the company created something called EV in a Box, a ready motor and battery that's packed in a box to be shipped anywhere and installed in a car in one day. Targeting a price below $20,000, we hope that we can achieve through mass orders a price of at least $15,000. And in the second phase of that kit, to be able to offer it as a subscription service so that you are able to pay a monthly cost that will be offset by the savings that you make on fuel. The EV market is valued at around $400 billion, with EV conversions accounting for just $5 billion of that amount, according to PwC. That's somewhere between 1% and 2% of, of the global market share, so it shows you that it's a niche product. However, for emerging markets, conversion is a great opportunity to decarbonize fast. If you want to electrify, for example, in Central Africa, the fast and cheapest way still is EV conversion. A small market that Hussein has big goals for. He says he's aiming to electrify 50 cars by the end of the year, leading the charge for a sustainable road ahead.